All right, we're going to make a mono wave Z wave or mono price Z wave curtain opener and closer. It came, uh, these are the tools that I used and the parts you're going to need. The power outlet I got off of Amazon, the adapter for it I got from Radio Shack, as well as the telephone jack. I got from Radio Shack. The MeTech curtains require phone jack. A four wire type. Make sure it has four wires. It requires four wires. That's where things get, get a little confusing for me, but I got it figured out. So we're going to start with the finished product. And hey, Google, turn on dining room curtains. So there's my backyard in the snow. Hey Google, turn off dining room curtain. So there you go. That's how that works. And this is the, what you end up with. So we'll start at the end, at the uh, finished product. It's uh, all these pieces put together. And again, you can do that however you want make a box. I just put it together that way. So let's get to the phone. Okay, so the, the telephone module has four has a four leads, which is exactly what we want because we have three leads here and two power. So uh-oh. We've got open, close and stop and the power leads. So what do I do? Well, I figured out by examining very closely how these phone jacks, the phone wires hook up and how these jacks operate, <clears throat> is I've got, in looking at MeTech's schematic online and their knowledge base, we've got open, close, as I said, stop, and common and or com line the common line in researching relays i researched relays online and uh, then finally decided to just take apart the wired set device that came with them once i took it apart i looked inside and noticed that the fourth lead again there's it'll plug in the same place this plugged in on the motor these four correlate to these four and the final one was just ground. So common is ground. So I took the ground lead um, and put an, ex an additional piece of wire, soldered an additional piece of wire over from ground to where ground would be, which actually turned out to be this yellow one. So that's that was the big mystery. Right. Okay. Now what we've got is this wired up where you can you can see the brown lead white gray and then this is my com my ground come back over to the plug it's a it's a size k is what came with the with the um, transformer that i got so you can see i've got two wires now the black lead is is from the the mono price device the curtain controller device so I just happen to have a red wire if you can only use black for ground then buy black wire and then you can see the other uh, the red going back to the mono price plug so you've got your your positive your ground your negative You've got your white open gray close and brown stop. And it translates over here thusly. All right. I bought this adapter, the AC adapter from Amazon. You can get them anywhere. This was like five bucks, I think. So this runs on, I believe, 0.25 milliamps. 
12 volts. So this is 12 volts and the amperage you know, is 2. So anything 1, 2 will work because it only uses a little bit. But it's got to be 12 volts. And again, this this end is a, a K size, which is what you find at the uh, at the Radio Shack store. This was a two pack. It was like three or four dollars. And it tells you where's positive, negative, and one is switched. So if you solder it on the, the wrong one, then solder it on the other one. Okay. So the Radio Shack phone jack comes with a sticky pad. Stick it. I stuck mine there, stuck that on there, plug that in, plug your your plug in, give it some power, pair it up and it works. Hey Google, turn on the curtains. Sure, turn the dining room curtain on. Ta-da.